The background eraser is a great tool for removing areas of similar colour. You'll find it nested underneath the eraser tool. Click and drag, it will sample the area under the crosshairs and remove the area inside the circle. The first icon has it sampling continuously as it goes. Obviously this isn't what we want here because it's sampling the colour in the Eiffel Tower. Let's undo and let's change that to sampling just once when you first click. Now when you click and drag, you can drag it over the top of the Eiffel Tower and it doesn't sample that colour. But you'll notice it's not getting rid of the blue inside the struts. And that's because the limits are set to contiguous. Let's undo again and change those limits to discontiguous. Now as we drag, it looks inside the Eiffel Tower and it gets rid of all the sky inside there as well. We're starting to lose a little bit of the edge of the building, so let's undo and let's check the Protect Foreground Colour button. We can use the eyedropper tool or hold Option or Alt to get it temporarily and sample that colour. Now when we click, that colour is retained and won't be erased. We can go right through the image and erase all of that unwanted blue sky. Now it's not going to do it perfectly first time and there will be areas that have been missed. You can increase the tolerance but I'd recommend just going over those areas, clicking and dragging again to get rid of any colours that weren't included in the original colour selection. It's a great tool for removing even coloured backgrounds.